Lord, use me, God, in this moment, Jesus, as you see fit, in Jesus' name, for the vacation of your people. Amen. All right, and everybody stand up. Do exercise for me real quick. <laughs> stand up. I want you to imagine you have a zipper up here. Zip. Step out for me. Step. Leave that. Kick this away. It's gone. Okay? That's how God showed it to me when I was studying this. Zip it off and step out. Because 2024 means new beginning. So 2023 was about blessing provision. 2024 is about new beginning. So if you didn't zip that off, zip off all of it. Anxiety, depression, worry, health, stress. Zip it all off. Step out and kick it away. Whatever is holding you back, God said today that as you step into January 1st, 2024 means new beginning for you. You can have a seat. Or you can step, keep stepping. It's fine with me. <laughs> so I said, okay, Lord. Because a lot of us, while, while Al said 2023 is for me, right, and God brought provision, 2023 was hard for some people. It was challenging, myself included. It was good, but it was challenging. So God showed me, like, just, just we're driving home. Take the zipper, zip it all the way down, and step out. Because we step into this new year, there's going to be a new beginning. The number eight represents the new beginning. So you add it up, because I took one of Grandma's playbook, 2024, eight. The eight represents new beginning, meaning a new order of creation, so when you unzipped and you stepped out, you stepped out into something new. Accept that. It's something new. The old man has to go. The old thinking has to go. The same things you've been doing has to go. You got to step into something different. We're new creatures in Christ. And we've heard this scripture numerous times, right? We know that we're all new creatures. But when you unzipped, right? Most of us in here are saved, so it's not new. So when we unzipped, we had to step into something different. It's a higher calling. God's calling us to do something higher. Y'all, most of y'all in testimony preached what I was going to preach. I was going to say, I'm like, Lord, do I need to really get up there? I think they got it. <laughs> going to. All right. Second Corinthians five seventeen. Yeah, I think most of us knew this. Know the scripture by memory. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. And if you in Christ, you are a new creature. That means your old thinking, your old training, your old everything changes. It's new. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. And that's what kept coming to me. 2024 is going to be something new. And it's going to be something new because Jesus is coming back sooner than we think. I was driving home. I don't even remember what day it was. It was and just Holy Spirit said, I, Jesus is coming back. I'm coming back soon. I'm coming back soon. That's what kept coming to me. And if you stuck not doing the work God told you you're supposed to do, I said, Lord, don't let that be me. Don't let that be where you told me to do some things. I haven't done it because I think I have time. The world doesn't have time. The people out there don't have time. They don't. We don't. Our time is shortening we see it that's not news to anybody but it was a it was like a like it hit me zip off the old step into this new take you to this higher place let me take you to this higher place stop fighting me this is what we tell me step into this higher place and do what i told you to do because the time is short it's that simple 18 and all things are of god who have reconciled us to himself by Jesus Christ and have given us the ministry of reconciliation to wit that God was in Christ reconciling the world unto himself now in putting their trespasses on them thank you Jesus and has committed unto us the word word reconciliation so reconciliation because I kept looking at that too that word like popped out at me it means to turn to God and others in Hebrew not just to God, but into others. I thought the others part was interesting. I'm like, well, wait a minute. 
It literally means to turn the direction that we're headed. So if 2023, 2022, 2021 keep going back, because COVID messed up some stuff, right? If we keep going back and realize that we literally have to change the direction. So after we unzipped ourselves and we kicked it away, we now have to step onto a new path. Literally change our direction. Literally change our thinking. So by turning away from the old things, we are new. And when you're new, you, your thinking is reframed. Your actions are reframed. Your speech is reframed. Everything changes. I said, Lord, don't let my, be, my speech, my thinking, the things that I thought about 2023, 2022, back it up, you know, okay? Don't let that thinking carry on to 2024 because you said new beginning. So this new beginning has to have some new reframe in place. Help me, Jesus. All right. The word beginning obviously means the beginning or start of something. But the prefix of it in Hebrew means in. God's intention was to always be in his creation, right? We're created of him. His intention was to always be in. We should intentionally let him in. He is the beginning. He is the end. He's the middle. He's in between. Fill in the blank. He's all of it. When we intentionally bring him into our circumstances and we intentionally bring him into our situations and we intentionally turn to him first, reframe our thinking we intentionally think to him first the rest of the stuff becomes irrelevant i said lord let me get to that place in my life where my reframe thinking always turns to you first not Brittany, not the text message not social media not my phone let my reframe mind go to you first every time because do i do that no well, i ain't gonna lie to you i don't <laughs> Okay, I don't. But I want my reframed mind to turn to Jesus first. I want my reframed mind to turn to the scripture first. I want my reframed mind to look at meditation and meditate in God's word because guess what? He already knows the answer. He just waiting on me to ask him. Waiting on you to ask him. Sometimes we put ourselves in situations before God puts us there because we think God said it. Ugh. Guilty. And it wasn't God at all. Lord, change my reef, help my reframe mind, this new creature, to always seek you first. Because you know the beginning, you know the middle, you know the end, you know the in between, you know everything is surrounded by it, you know the answer. You see it. We typically start the new year with resolutions. I now hate them. Strongly, I know strong word. I don't like resolutions, they're dumb. I think, what, what 10% of people keep them? I forget the actual number anymore. So when we think about this, we have all these new chances. Every day is a new chance. The reality of it is we know resolutions fail. I don't forget the actual, I don't remember the actual number, but they don't work. And we find ourselves right back to the things that we promised ourselves and we promised God and we promised all these, all these things and nothing changes. When we intentionally remember God who knows our beginning and the middle and the in-between and the end, in every move and decision that we make this year, things are going to be different. He dwells in you. He's looking at starting something new and creating something new. He wants us to include him in the process. I may be speaking for myself here, but sometimes I forget to include God in the process. Um, it is us who hinders and steps away. We are his jewels. We are the crown of his creation. It's my favorite scripture, 1 Peter 2 and 9. It's my favorite scripture. But ye are chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a peculiar people, that you should show the forth the praises of him who have called you out of darkness into this marvelous light. So as we go into 2024, remember, and that's why I titled this, live like no one else so that you can live like no one else. Live like nobody else so that you can live like no one else. Because when everybody else gets into situations, guess what they do? They call so-and-so. I got to think this out. Me, I'm a type A personality. So I have to write everything down and plan it, okay? I'm going to train myself to stop doing that, right? When it comes to God, I guess God let him let go. I think somebody said that. What did you say for 2024? 24? 
what do we say about 24? Let go and let God, right? Reframe thinking. We know that he, he is beginning and the end and he brings us eternal life. Let's go to Ephesians 4 and 4. I'm going to jump around there in, the little, in Ephesians. There is one body, verse 4. Thanks, babe. There is one body, one spirit, even as ye are calling one hope of your calling, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is above all and through all and in you all. But unto every one of us is given grace according to the measure of the gift of Christ. Remember, part of that grace was right, was me in the camp. Whoever he says, saith when he ascended up on high and I'm sorry eight and led kept captivity captive and gave gifts unto men now that he has he is ascended what is it but that he that descended first into the lower parts of the earth he that ascendeth is the same also that ascendeth up far above all the heavens all heavens that he might fill all the things and he gave some apostles and some prophets and some evangelists and some pastors and teachers. While 2024 is a year of new beginning and a year of renewal in our spiritual man, in our faith journey, it's time to step up. This has already been said. It's time to step up what God has planned for you. It's time to step up to the plate. We unzipped. We stepped out. Now it's time to step up. Right? We said, it's been said, even in testimony service, it's time for us to stop playing. It's time for us to step into what God called us to do and stop talking about it. We do a whole lot of talk. Whole lot of talk. Whole lot of talk. I don't know how many times I say, you know what? I'm going to do this and I'm going I'm to I'm do this. Time to step up to the plate. I said, Lord, I stepped up to the plate in 2023. Now what else do you have for me? Come on right? Stepping out of our comfort zone, stepping out of what we think should be, stepping out and letting go and letting God, because if you let go and let God, he's not going to misdirect us. He's not going to missteer us. It's trusting the, well, I'm the, the cliche, right? Trust the process. 2024 is a year of renewal, and in that renewal, you have to step up to the plate. Whatever God told you to do, it's time for you to do it. Whatever it is, time to do it. I said, Lord, help me. There are things I said I was going to do. I haven't quite done yet. Shut it off. Reframe the new thinking. Step into it. Step into the higher calling. Your gifts and your talents are yours. God gives you those gifts for the edification of his kingdom. Right? I said, Lord, help me become more kingdom-minded. More kingdom-minded. I'm so, like, the devil has us busy with bogged down with life. Life. Worried about what I'm going to do at work. Worried about what I'm going to do here. Worried about what I'm going to do that. Worry, 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 worry. I said, Lord, this ain't nothing but the devil to keep me distracted. It's all distraction. It's not harmful, but it's distracting. So, Lord, help me be kingdom-minded. I got to go to work, right? If I'm in this building, help me be kingdom-minded for you. Or if I, if I ain't supposed to be here, make that happen too. Lord, let your will be done in this year. Let me trust the process that you have for me. You say for you, but I'm talking about me right now. Where are we at? 12. For the perfecting of the stakes, for the work of his ministry, and for the edifying the body of Christ. Y'all, we got to step into it. The body, we, the body, we need the body, and I feel like pieces of the body are missing. I mean, we said, like, you said this is the church's fault, right? Why people look to the church and, and people that we look to have failed, which means looking to people anyway. God said, don't look. Jesus said, don't look to people. Don't do it, because they fail. Humans will fail you at some point. They will. Not they mean to. They're going to fail you. The only perfect the only perfect. We sing about how his ways are perfect is Jesus. So Lord, don't let me look to nobody. 
nobody means an intention to hurt anybody, but you know, it happens. Where am I at? So here's the point. Instead of setting me goals and resolutions, ask yourself what part of my life spiritually first spiritually emotionally physically needs a new beginning what needs to be reestablished, and then hand it over to god here you go right there's some things i need reestablished. i said lord i want to get healthy again not right now right i need to do what i gotta do on my end i i'm not foolish enough to think that god's gonna be like bam go do child no <laughs> that's not how that works Faith without works is dead. There has to be action. There has to be action. So if you want people to come to come with you, there needs to be an action. Right? We can pray and ask God all we want, but if there's inaction, inaction equals inaction. Nothing. So Lord, help me to be more active spiritually. Be in tune spiritually. Help me listen spiritually. And the other stuff will come. Isaiah 40, 31. For those of us who are who got beat down a little bit. Y'all know the scripture. They that wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. We sing about it. They should mount up on wings like eagles. They should run and not be weary. They should walk and not be and not faint. Life will drag you down. There's been times in my life where I said, God, where are you? I feel lost. I feel alone. That's being truthful. Where are you? He's always there. Just waiting on us. Waiting on me. Waiting for me to say, trust me, Brittany. I got this. I got it. This is nothing to me. Nothing to me. I am great. I am almighty. I am Everything you need, hand it over. Hand it over. Some of us are tired from life's hardships. We've been tested. Some of us, it feels like our breaking point. Lord, I can't take any more. And I've said that. Lord, I can't take any more. I don't think I can. While we know the test, right? We, we know the tests are making us. The tests are teaching us. There's things in the test that we learn, but sometimes you feel like you're going to break. I can acknowledge that. And God says, guess what? I haven't given you more than you can bear, and I'm always with you. There's another person in the fire with you. He's never left. He loves us. He just wants us to depend on him. Where is it? Okay. Great. You will mount up on the wings of eagles. So that's our, like, because like, eagles are this majestic, beautiful creature. Eagles fly alone at high altitude. Alone. I think sometimes we need to separate, isolate ourselves. And some people feel isolated. Well, guess what? God's trying to get your attention. Isolation is not always bad. God's trying to get your attention. For whatever reason, eagles have, like, their visions, I don't know how to describe it, but a super, super impressive vision. They stay focused on their task at hand. In this case, their prey. We know the enemy is, our, is out there, right? Our task, whatever task God has you to do, whatever he tells you to do, zero focus on it laser pin focus on it eagles are fearless and never surrender to the size and strength of their prey we cannot surrender to the devil we cannot surrender to the vices of the devil we can't surrender when he throws things and situations at us that are tiresome or frustrating whatever the word may be we still can't surrender fight to the end eagles are tenacious they welcome the storms. Ooh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> Can't say that's me. And they seek higher, they seek higher in the clouds in the heavens. So they, they welcome the storms and they seek higher ground. They seek higher. 
I said, Lord, so when the tests and the storms come my way, <laughs> help me to seek higher, not seek lower. Throw my hands up, praise you, whatever it takes to get out of it. Help me seek higher. Not walk around with a long face. Right? I think we'd say that's okay. And I said, Lord, I know that things, life brings us things. And there's a time for mourning. There's a time for all that stuff. But I said, you, these are storms that you bring me to teach something. Teach me something. I'm learning something in this process. Take me higher. Take me higher. Eagles prepare for training. Challenge to get yourself out of your comfort zone. I challenge you to do something this year that you didn't do last. For God. Something that you didn't do last year that you wrote down and told God you were going to do. I challenge you to do it this year. So when I stepped into 2023 and I said, okay, Lord, I'm, I'm going to do this. I'm going to get in the pulpit. I don't, I don't know who you're talking to, Lord. It wasn't me. It wasn't me, Jesus. I was wrong. <laughs> it wasn't me. But I wrote that down in 2023 to do. I said, Lord, what's the next step? I know the time is short. I know what you have planned for me, I, whatever that is. Don't let me go. Who are you talking to, me? That's the trick of the devil. That's self-doubt. Don't, I said, Lord, let me change. Like, remember, he's unzipped. So I got to change the verbiage. Okay, Jesus, you brought it to me. What would you like me to do? Talking to me. Change the verbiage. Eagles possess vitality. This is where we now unzipped. We shake ourselves. Xavier likes to shake with me. Where's my kid? Likes to shake. Shake it off. Shut ourselves of the things that hold us back. I said, Lord, I don't want to go in 2024 carrying this baggage. Unzip. I stepped out. It's kicked. Let's move forward. What do you have planned, Jesus? What do you want to do differently? What do you want Revival Center to do in 2024 that we haven't done? Church, I challenge us to do something we haven't done. Something. We can baby step. No. I was just kidding. We're not baby stepping. Right, let's do it. Make this a year declaration. It is time, y'all. A lot of us put, we put prayers forth. You've been praying for family. You are going to reap what you've sown. So everything that you've been praying for, everything you've been asking God for, the things that have been blocked or felt blocked that will not move, God is going to open doors for you. I felt that was a year of breakthrough. If it's renewal, breakthrough's right behind it. Right behind it. Then God took me to all about his, what he is, his provision. Um, there's a ton of scriptures here, so I'm going to throw some, I'm going to throw them out at you. I'm not going to read all of them. But Philippians 4.19 was one of them. And then 2 Corinthians 9.8. And God is able to make all grace abound toward you that ye having, that ye always having sufficiency in all things may abound to do every good work. He is the provider of all things. Thank you, Jesus. All things. So what do we have to worry about? So Lord, help me. Reframe. Reframe. Should not be worried. Matthew 6, 31 through 33. They talk about, like, don't take thought about what you should eat or drink. What you should be cold. For your heavenly Father knows that you need all these things. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. I keep coming back to that. So Lord, help me to seek you first. And your righteousness, because you said all this other stuff, you know I need these things. The things will be added. He is your father. I thought about daddy. When who he could, if I wanted something, if it was in his means, Ryan Robertson got it. What more is my heavenly father to me? That before I think about that I need it, he already knows that I do. How much more is that? How much more is that? Uh, Matthew seven eleven. 
that was one. And then John 10, 10. The thief cometh not but to kill, for, for to steal, kill, and destroy. And boy, he, he busy. I may come that, I, that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. This year, time to break out from the old. Step into the new. Walk into your breakthrough. Walk into your freedom. Walk into your blessings. Walk into your provision. Because God knows the beginning and the end. Live like nobody else. When we trust, put God first so that we can live like nobody else. God bless you.